University of East London is a very diverse uh, institution located in an exciting part of London. Uh, lots of economic growth and development around us, including uh, the Olympics. Uh, this particular development, the uh, research internship scheme, um, uh, was run for the first time last year. Uh, as an opportunity for students to work with academic staff on research projects. We know from uh, research in the US and also in the UK how important it is to involve undergraduates very early on in research or authentic research op opportunities. It enhances their employability and also one's participation to postgraduate study as well. I thought this research internship project was a great opportunity for our students to develop their employability skills. The way we set up the internship program meant it mimicked a true recruitment process. At UEL we're, we're very committed to the idea of learning and teaching permeating the service departments as well as the academic schools. But this was something that transcended that. Uh, this was an opportunity for staff from departments that do really important work that's not always student facing uh, and, and student contact. Suddenly staff were involved with directly having students working with them and they were really excited about it. It really offered us the opportunity to do a piece of research we wouldn't have been able to do without the assistance of our research intern. We had over 500 applications uh, for the scheme. Um, we were eventually able to fund uh, 50 students to work on 50 research projects. The interview process was tough. It wasn't held at the university, it was held off-site to give it a real feel of having to get to a place they hadn't been to before, on time, appropriately dressed, and then to be able to face two um, professionals as an interview panel. What we thought was really important for the intern was actually to make them part of the team right from day one. So we treated her as we treat any research assistant or uh, researcher joining Continuum. We had a full induction for her. She attended all of our team, team meetings and although the interns were supposed to work 20 hours a week, Jo would often volunteer to do more, more than that because she wanted to become integrated into the team. I really felt like I was in the real world, which actually was a real world. And I had the opportunities of um, working with very talented people and they gave me, they, they had so much trust in me, they gave me the opportunity to put my own ideas into use and they were really open and receptive and they really guided me throughout the process. Their doors were open for me to speak to them anytime. We, they, they were in touch with me via Skype, um, and Twitter. It was, it was a fantastic experience. Often our students see research as being something that it, it almost belongs to the academics, it belongs to the professors, it belongs to the researchers and they feel excluded from that community. They feel proud and privileged to be able to just kind of dip their toe in but they don't really get to have a piece of it in the same way and this time they really were. They were being researchers and they felt like researchers. They acted like researchers and they talked like researchers and that was fantastic to see them so excited by it. Each of the students was asked to produce a poster, just as they would if they were going to a conference to present their research findings. Some of them didn't really think that they were or could be researchers. And when they saw their posters displayed and people coming and taking photographs and showing interest, I really think they felt we are researchers. We are researchers, we are working on that level, and we could work on that level. We not only had an event for the students, but we had several days where all of the posters from the interns were on display. And that was an opportunity for students of all levels of study and staff. And I heard several people looking at them and assuming that this was a display of staff research. And you know, it was lovely when they realised that this was actually student work and that some of those students were continuing to study in the university. We're a really diverse uh, university in terms of ethnicity, age, 
um, socioeconomic background. And this project gave us the opportunity to introduce people from all those groups to research. And if you had come to our awards ceremony, you would see that all those groups were represented. And I think that that was absolutely fantastic. If students say, oh, it's helped me to manage my thinking or create an argument or use the data or be more structured. All of those things are relevant to everything that they do at university and the things that they'll need to do when they get into the workplace. It has really influenced my choice of career because now I've decided to focus more on policy and research. It's given me a huge experience in using um, data analysis, soft, uh, analysis softwares like Envivo and also, it's boosted my confidence in speaking to people because I was part of the um, street observation team and likes, and I conducted my own interviews and focus groups. So it's boosted my confidence in research skills. Fantastic experience. I'd like to do one, one more time if I have the opportunity. <laughs> we have just now launched a, a project related to this, um, which will be a longitudinal study, um, which will monitor the impact and, and look at these students uh, in terms of their future um, employability prospects and, and the lifeline of where the project goes. We're finding increasingly that a lot of the ideas that the academics are coming to us uh, with are for um, industry links uh, around these internships. Uh, so we, we're looking this year at a number, we will fund them, but they will be joint projects to all intents and purposes with industry partners. An aspect of the project that really excited me was the fact that students were talking about a whole range of transferable skills that they'd got. And um, I've got somebody here, Graham Marsden. He was talking about it helping him explore intellectual ideas, track down information, data and people. Soft skills like persuasion are useful to have on a CV. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? You know, if a student can participate in something that's labelled a research internship scheme and come out of it with a whole raft uh, of skills, but one of them being better persuasion skills, I think he'd be able to sell himself to a future employer quite well. Persuasion? Why not? It's quite good.